All right, we're here at Drive Shaft Pro here in Garden Grove, California. Gonna pick up the carbon drive shaft. Pretty excited. We're here with Junior from Drive Shaft Pro. Um, we just got the carbon shaft in and some other machine bits. Uh, he's gonna walk us through the process real quick and then we're gonna take it over to the balancing machine and let him talk us through the process of how to put this thing together. We're gonna go to the press, line it up, make sure it's straight. Yep. Make sure this is straight. Okay. So nothing breaks. It goes right. in evenly. We gotta evenly press. After we press the slip yoke, we're gonna do the tube yoke. Okay. What's okay. this piece called? Tube yoke. Tube yoke, got it. Once we do the tube yoke, we're gonna line this. Once before we press this on, we're gonna line this up. Uh -huh. So it's evenly what we call timed. So it's gonna look something like this on the shaft. Gotcha. So the U joints are lined up. Cool. We got a good balance off of that and then we're gonna begin our welding. Sweet. And then you weld uh, which part to what? We're gonna weld this to this and this to this. But cool. we'll, before we weld, we're gonna indicate, make sure it's under three thousands. Uh huh. So when we balance, we don't have to put too much weight on it. Dope. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. Very cool. All right. So what kind of machine is this one? This is our press. We usually do all our drive shafts, we press them in so we won't bang anything in. Uh-huh. One and once we pressed on, these this machine centered so we, we can indicate and get everything under three thousands. Cool. For radio. Sweet. Balance. lined up the tube yoke as you can see it's centered uh-huh we did the same thing with the spline so it's leveled now uh -huh. we're gonna press it in so it's perfectly timed when we put on the slip yoke cool now these are our centering tools this yep. is what we use to center the drive shaft before we weld it and indicate it. Okay. Dial indicator? Yeah. So the way we do it is we indicate on the end of the spline. Right. Because this is where it's going to be holding on and riding on. Okay. So the, the, the closer we get to here and get it under 3,000 or 3,000, uh -huh. we'll be okay and we'll begin our, our welding process. Sweet. Under two or three, and now we're going to begin our welding process. So, what's the actual measurement? This one's like two thousand. Sweet. So with the rag, what's what's the rag for? We don't want the carbon fiber getting hot because uh -huh. they use some kind of special glue on it. Uh -huh. We don't want it to heat up and get the the tubing that's in there loose. Gotcha. So we're gonna press these U joints on to the flanges. Okay. Put the snap rings on, and then put them on the drive shaft. Okay. And then we're gonna start the balance process. Sweet. All right, so we have, what are these? 
is a combo. Uh, this is a three. This is a thirteen ten U joint. Uh huh. And this is a combo joint. Gotcha. Uh, seventy two sixty to three thirteen ten. Seventy two sixty to thirteen ten. Yeah. All right. Let me see. I think this is a Mazda one. Yep. So I'm gonna put. I'm pretty sure this goes to your rear end, so it's gonna go like this. I know you're gonna want to slip in the stub. And that goes there. Yeah. So we're gonna loosen it up right now. Oh yeah. No binding, right? No binding. Definitely doesn't weigh much. The snap ring goes on the inside. Yeah, on these, on the Mazda flanges, they go on the inside. Again, there's a fit, snap it on, and then we just uh, loosen it up again. So now that it's on it, what I'm going to do is straighten this out again, make sure it's straight. Because okay. after we weld it, it moves a little bit. Uh-huh. Now we're going to bring it down. Okay. that alone I'm gonna do a, a rear okay see how much it changes and then we'll go we'll give it all the speed we got this time the light turned on that indicates that the balancer already set its point gotcha. so then we go counterclockwise uh -huh. so it could look at that point too and then that's where we put our weight go cool. We're probably like 2,000 off now, so now we're probably just gonna tell us to move it a little bit. Gotcha. How are we looking? We're at 1,000 or less. All of it. Sweet.
Add in some grease. Yeah. Ready to rock and roll? Yeah. Ready to install it. All <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, so hit up Drive Shaft Pro for any of your driveline component needs, differentials, drive shafts, carbon, steel, and or aluminum. Uh, we're here in Garden Grove, California, so anyone in Southern California, hit them up. All right. Thank you. <laughs>